Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus. It's Dana, your favorite freaky psychic chick. What's going on, you guys? I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you came here prepared and focused. Let's throw these cards down and see what they have to say. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck is the hanged man. Nice. Ooh, to the moon in reverse. Somebody have Pisces in them with the hanged man and the moon. Look at that. The Ace, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Wands. Fantastic. Look at that. The Five of Wands, the Four of Swords in reverse, and the Devil will take all of those. All right, you guys, let's see what the heck is up here. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in, snuggle up to this table right here. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it, and I will sew together a story for you guys, okay? Let's scooch those up here. Wands, High Priestess in Reverse, the Hierophant, Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Lovers, and the Wheel of Fortune, to the Nine of Wands, the Prince of Wands. Okay, nice. Nice. All right, Taurus. All right. So we're starting out with the Three of Pentacles, right? Teamwork, collaboration, building something, like minds headed in the same direction. To the King of Cups, uh, this is someone who is emotionally grown, emotionally mature, um, very much in control of their emotions. And look at that, I cannot make this up, to the Chariot and the Lovers. Wow. Two of Wands in reverse. Uh, you don't see this coming, though. <laughs> you don't see this coming at all, Taurus. Not at all. You do not see it coming. Tell me about the Two of Wands in reverse, please. Tell me about this. What does Taurus need to know about this Two of Wands in reverse death? There's a complete transformation of your life right around the corner. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on. It's fantastic. It's fantastic, Taurus. You ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. So glad because the last reading that I put out was just uh, kind of a buzzkill a little bit. But hey, I got to do what I got to do, right? And it hits or it doesn't hit and just, you know, come on back and check, see if it hits again sometime, okay? But this is amazing. It's amazing. It kind of is a little bit attached to the last reading that I did little bit because in the last reading that I did, there was a Taurus out there that was just wrought with anxiety about some kind of uh, negative derogatory situation in their life. Okay. So, and the advice from that was to um, see the forest through the trees. Okay, Taurus, let's do this. All right, let's do this. The Three of Pentacles. Um, teamwork, collaboration, building something, creating something together, um, 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 contracting with people sometimes, but it's about like-minded people on the same page heading in the same direction. Okay, that is the Three of Pentacles right here. Let me, see, let me adjust these. So that's the Three of Pentacles right there. Okay, teamwork, collaboration teamwork collaboration. The person that you are going to be teamworking and collaborating with um, is someone who is calm, cool, collected, and very much in control of themselves. It's it's a wise person, okay? And it is a, it, with the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups down here, okay? So this Teamwork and collaboration that you are going to engage with, whomever this is for, all right, is with some kind of soulmate or soul partner, all right? It is. Soulmate, soul partner, the story's going to unfold. Hold on. So you got a soulmate, a soul partner, um, teamwork, collaboration, building something, and then I asked what exactly it was. And the chariot says self-control, willpower, determination, pushing forward, and then the lover's card talks about 
energetic attraction, energetic connection, and it is some kind of significant relationship. So these first four cards right here say that Taurus has some kind of soul connection, soulmate thing out there. Now, let me just stop y'all right there, all right? I do not throw around the term soulmate just willy-nilly, okay? Just because someone is a soulmate does not mean that it is romantic and it does not mean that it is forever and always amen. A lot of y'all are really, really, really confused by the fluffy bullshit that goes around on YouTube tarot, okay? We all have a soul family, okay? And when we die and we carry on to the next leg of this journey, they're going to be there as well, okay? They're not going to look the same. They're not going to feel the same. But it is our energetic expression that has been here from way back in the day that will be here way in the future that is with you right now. Your soul is alive inside of your meat and bone experience, okay? And that soul, the, the goal of life, read my book, okay? My book, Who Do You Think You Are? It explains all of this, okay? The goal of life is to merge your soul's mission and experience with the flesh and bone physical experience of life that you're having. That's how you live, boom, a fantastic life. You mesh your soul's guidance because it knows. It knows where you came from, it knows where you're going, and it knows what you're supposed to be doing here. You mesh your flesh and bone experience with your soul experience and it it's alchemy, right? Flesh and blood, soul, they come together, they create something that did not exist before your flesh and bone and your soul came together. Otherwise, it's your flesh and bones and your soul, right? So merging them together, creating alchemy in your life and following your soul's guidance with your flesh life is the objective of life. Again, read my book. It explains all of it, all right? So, 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 a soul mate is someone that we have held space with at some point and God only knows what the hell is really going on out there, okay? But at some point you have held space with these, what we call people in this lifetime, right? You have held space with these people and throughout the course of infinity, these, we, we mingle back and forth with one another and we manifest in each other's lives in times of crisis, in times of celebration and joy, in, in really at any time when the timing is right for your soul person to come in and say, oh yeah, 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 we figured that this might go on, so here I am. Remember who you are, remember your power, remember how to properly handle this situation. And we go, oh yeah, I know you from somewhere. I, I feel you, you feel comfortable to me. This must be love. This must be the romance of my lifetime, not necessarily, okay? Now, for this particular Taurus, it could be. All I'm saying is don't get all crazy in the head thinking every time you feel comfortable with someone that it's supposed to be love and romance because oftentimes it's not. They're here to guide you. You're here to guide them, okay? This relationship that is fixing to throw down in this Taurus's life is one of those relationships, okay? All right, chariot, rolling hard the lovers to some kind of significant frequency equilibrium with someone, okay? All right, two wands in reverse. You don't see it coming though. You don't see it coming, y'all worried about the future and you just don't even see this coming. It's gonna hit you like a freight train with the chariot, okay? It's gonna hit you like a freight train. You don't even see it coming, death. And it's going to be a complete and utter transformation of your life. A complete and utter transformation of your life. No matter what you're sitting there plotting and planning and thinking about, Taurus, is, is <laughs> going to just go away because this is the turning point. This is a huge, massive transformation in your life. 
Mm -hmm. All of us are sitting around thinking, oh, well, I'm going to do, I'm going to be here in a year and here in six months, and this is my five-year plan, or oh, I don't know where the hell I'm going to be tomorrow, right? All of that is just going to simply disappear because when this relationship enters your life, everything changes. Whether this is love or money, this could be money of some sort as well. This could be a business partner. This could be someone that is a, a soulmate capacity, someone who is in a soulmate capacity. Um, it could be a landlord. It could be a uh, someone selling you a car, okay? But whatever this is, it is destined to be because it is crucially super important to your future somehow, some way. All right? Strength. But they need you to, to, to fortify yourself, Taurus. They need you to fortify yourself because if you're not prepared when this happens, you're not going to receive or get or participate in it the best possible way to procure the best possible outcome, which is divine orchestration, which is the Kashic records, which is the path of your best and highest good. The universe is only interested in the path of your best and highest good. They are. And if you choose in your free will to not go in the direction that the universe is trying to show you through your gut knowings, signs and synchronicities in your life, pieces of the puzzle locking together like Legos, if you're not observant to what's going on outside of your flesh and bone world, then you're just going to pop through this and be like, oh, yeah, it's a soulmate and I'm going to, oh, it's forever and always, amen. You're, you're, you're just going to, you're not going to see the significance of what's happening here, okay? All right. They need you to fortify yourself and be strong. Why? Seven of Pentacles, well, not why, well, how? Seven of Pentacles. Take a step back, reflect and assess on the shit you got going on, okay? What are you trying to grow in your life? How are you trying to grow it? Okay, and it'll make sense to the Queen of Swords and 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 make some real serious decisions about yourself, about your life, about your future, get control of your mind, clear your mind and do things intentionally to heal. And we're going to talk about that in just a second, okay? You need to heal from something that's taking the space that this new relationship needs to flourish and prosper, okay? The hangman. Take a step back, just like that seven of pentacles. Take a step back, reflect and assess on what's happening, and cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective. What's that tree? I'm fixing to tell you. The tree you've been hanging on all this time, okay? The tree that you need to cut yourself loose from that's going to like, ba-ding, like, 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 like a, like a slingshot. Okay, so you're stuck in this tree right here, right? Let me do it over here because my cards are going to be up there. Um, you're hanging in the tree, right? Just hanging there, hanging there, hanging there. And you're, you're, you're pondering or wallering in what I'm fixing to describe to you right now, okay? And if you will cut yourself loose from that tree, you're going to slingshot into your future. And again, strength again comes on top of this and talks about overcoming and not succumbing. To what? Okay. All right. To what? Hold on. To what? What's the problem? What's going on here? Hold on. Okay. They say, the cards say, okay, High Priestess, there needs to be some healing, okay? There needs to be some healing because your soul is trying to lead you to the next phase, the next step, the next journey of your life. Your ancient self, your ancient soul. Remember, the objective is to mesh them together, okay? So your soul is trying to guide you in the direction that you need to go in order for this relationship to materialize in your life, okay? What's the problem? Seven of Wands. You're blocking the manifestation of it. 
Why are you blocking the manifestation of it? Queen of Wands in reverse, because you don't feel like you're worth it. You don't feel like you deserve it. You don't feel um, that you are capable of engaging with it, okay? Most importantly, you don't feel like you are worthy of it. Mm -hmm. And because you don't feel like you're worthy of it, whatever this is right here, it is blocking it from coming into your life because everything is frequency, right? Everything is frequency all the time. I mean, your brain fires off a bazillion different um, uh, electrical impulses all day, every day, right? It's all frequency. And if your frequency is smoldering because the queen of wands in the upright right she's on fire she's the queen of fire right she's on fire but in the reverse it's like when you pour water on the fire and that nasty smoke just kind of lingers in the air right and it's all heavy right low vibrational your vibration is not allowing the materialization of this situation into your life okay Where's that vibe coming from? Well, the Six of Swords in reverse. Some kind of mental baggage, some kind of mental bullshit that has you stuck, Nine of Cups in reverse, in unfulfilled emotional, in emotional unfulfillment. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Your advice here is the Queen of Wands. Uh, turn her in the upright. Know your worth. Know your power. Have focus on your desires, your inspirations, and your aspirations, even in the face of stumbling blocks and issues sometimes. Okay? Keep your eye on the prize. Look, the Two of Pentacles. Prioritize, it. Prioritize this. Make it a priority to know your worth, have the fire, and, and, and prepare yourself for what's coming, Eight of Wands, because it's going to change everything, and there is movement, action, and change in your life, Three of Pentacles, that is leading you towards some kind of collaboration with someone that is... Um, highly advantageous and in your best and highest good okay prince of pentacles it's coming it's slow to come though it's slow to come why nine of swords in reverse because you're all stuck in a mindset of pain okay you're you're stuck in a mindset of pain as we get down here a little bit further i'm going to tell you why okay I, I don't know why they tell me the story like this but they do well, i'll give you a buzzkill you're stuck in a place of pain because you had a bad 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 experience in the past and you are expecting more of the same and you do not want to have any more of that okay so it's slow to come it, again gumming things up right it's slow it can't it can't fully be energetically attracted to you because your vibe is low with the nine of swords in reverse in the center of your reading stuck in a place of anxiety stricken mental pain okay i hope you do they have a thing with my nine of swords i don't know i say those words all together and they're like no <laughs> so Hopefully they don't block that. If they do block that, you will see a big, huge edit in the middle of this video. Okay, that's what that's about. All right, so it's slow coming in, okay? Look, the magician in reverse, an inability to manifest. This card is about untapped talents, and in, in, which is an, inab an inability to manifest your talents, untapped talents, untapped potential. It can't come in because you are stuck in a mindset about some kind of pain that you have experienced in the past. Um, isn't that what it always is, though? Really? I mean, it's always that. The hermit in reverse, you are withdrawn. What are you withdrawn from? Well, you're withdrawn from your soul's needs and wants. You're, you're, you're withdrawn from your connection to your ancient self, really. And they're saying that it, it, this, this can't come, come into your life just yet because you're not ready for it. 
You're just not ready for it. What do you got to do? You got to heal some shit to be ready for it. The Two of Pentacles, again, prioritize this. Balance this out in your sense of well-being. The Five of Pentacles, because you're stuck in a place of insecurity. What's the place of insecurity? Look down here. The King of Wands in reverse to the High Priestess in reverse. You experienced some kind of of damaging relationship in your life, mom, dad, brother, sister, uh, marriage, kids, whatever. But you've experienced something in your life that makes you feel undesirable, unattractive with that Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, this situation uh, stripped you of confidence and a sense of well-being and security. So whatever this is, King of Wands in reverse, egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic person of some sort, some fashion, really did a number on you. Really, really did a number on you. And it may all go all the way back to your childhood because I do have the Six of Cups in reverse in my hand right here. If it goes back to your childhood, which it all does, if it goes back to your childhood, I guarantee you, your first serious relationship, marriage perhaps, um, was a duplication of your childhood. Mm -hmm. You married your mother or your father or your the, whomever was the person that was spewing their bullshit that they couldn't deal with onto you. You married that person or you got in a relationship with that person. And that's represented by that King of Wands in reverse right there. And the High Priestess in reverse says you're not healed. You are unhealed from this all this time. Oops, maybe it happened yesterday. I don't know. But all this time. You have remained unhealed. You have let this experience with this situation define who you are and what you deserve in your life. And that is the furthest thing from the truth, according to the major arcana of the tarot. Spirit is saying, no, child. We got amazing things for you. We got great things for you. And if we can just get you to snap to it, look, Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands, right? If we can just get you to prioritize and snap to it, this is all going to come raining into your life. But we can't bring this into your life because you won't appreciate it for what it is. We are sending you a soul connection that is going to change the trajectory of everything. Are they going to do it for you? No. It's about your energetic frequency. Your output will draw that to you. And that's why they're telling you so desperately so that the pain that you experienced in some kind of really fucked up relationship is, is standing in the way. Look, the Seven of Cups in reverse. The Seven of Cups in reverse is all about delusion. It's delusional, okay? Your unhealed place comes from delusion. What's the delusion? You're believing something that's not true. That's delusional, right? Right? You're believing something that's not true. Where did it come from? Well, some kind of egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic person in your life made you believe something that is not true. Therefore, you are delusional, okay? Three of Swords, grief and pain and sorrow in your mind from this relationship. The Six of Cups in reverse, unrecon unreconciled woundings from your past. Seriously, this is stuck in, in, in the past. Again, like I said, from your childhood, possibly, right? Um, but it's definitely this relationship, whatever it is for you. Page of Cups in reverse, and it makes you feel unlovable. And because you feel unlovable, unlovable because of the damage of this relationship, Ace of Wands in reverse, you lack a desire to have some kind of a relationship. You lack a desire to engage. You lack a desire to, to even heal. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The world in reverse, and this is the stopper for everything. It's the stopper for everything. Nothing can go forward until you recognize this and address it. It's that simple. Nothing. I gotta get a drink. Hold on. Oh, sorry about that. Goodness. Mm -hmm. It's lemonade. Anybody who's been around this channel for a little while knows it's lemonade or sweet tea. All right. So it's a blockage. Stopping point. Okay. Stopping point. Five of cups. Filled with loss and regret and despair and disappointment. Letting, letting the damage of this situation, right, occupy all all of your focus instead of realizing that you're just fine. It's not like you lost the cups. You just lost the shit in the cups, right? You didn't lose the cups. You still have five golden cups. Two of them still have wine in it, right? So, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Two of swords in reverse. Crossroads, 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 crossroads. Back to this high priestess in reverse, unhealed, 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 the devil in reverse. Mm -hmm. You need to detach, staying unhealed, not addressing, continuing to not address your deep-rooted subconscious woundings is going to affect the whole rest of your life. So you might as well dig the shit up now and spit it out because, because it's there. Whomever I'm talking to, it is there and it needs your attention and it needs your attention. It does. It just, it needs your attention because it's detrimental to everything. Devil in reverse is about releasing your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Whatever this person told you you were told you you were worth, told you that you could have or couldn't have. However, this person tore you down is the toxic vein in your life that is limiting beliefs. Release your limiting beliefs, detach from the toxicity, four of pentacles and pull it together. Pull it together, princess of cups. So you can emotionally connect to the hierophant and, and be able to discern and decipher when source is leading and guiding you. Mm -hmm. Remember, they'll only lead you and guide you in the direction of your best and highest good. And if you choose to stay in a place of delusion and believe what it is that someone who was totally fucked up told you that you were, I mean, just think about that for a minute. Consider the gosh darn source. Why would you accept a truth from someone who is so insecure that they can't create a sense of self-worth from the inside out, so they have to consume a sense of self-worth from the outside in, and their power, they gained some kind of satisfaction by tearing you down? You see that? right? Consider the source, the Hierophant. We need you to discern. We need you to be um, alert to what it is that we're trying to do here. Princess of Cups, emotional healing. Why? Emotional healing so you can emotionally engage in this significant relationship, okay? The Hierophant also talks about contracts, obligations, commitments, marriage. And it's always funny to me how marriage is part of the contracts, obligations, and commitments, right? I just, I don't know, I have a thing with marriage. Okay. And then not because I have some kind of pain or anything. I just think it's a ridiculous institution to begin with. Okay. Nevertheless, I asked what this Hierophant is about. What is it? It's the King of Pentacles. Okay. King of Pentacles. This is two things, okay? This could be th the person because the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, right? That makes a nice little package right there, okay? Or this could be or and or is or both, right? Taurus sitting in a position of success and security in the embrace of some kind of commitment to a commitment that is introduced into Taurus's life via a soulmate connection. Boom. 
temperance. Take a breath, okay? Take a breath, temper yourself, pull it all together, temper yourself, right? You don't see the forest through the trees. Deal with this. What, what's the, what's the, don't see the forest through the trees, right? What does that even mean? So you're in the woods, right? And I, I was talking to somebody the other day and they've never been camping. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, are you serious? They're like, yeah, no, I've never even been in the woods. I'm like, are you kidding me? I live in the woods, okay? So, can't see the forest through the trees is uh, you're in the forest, right? And it's so many trees and all you can see is the tree trunks, right? And it's just like forever. And you don't, what you're not understanding is that the forest is this big, right? And, and you're just seeing like all the trees, right? And you're just seeing all the trees. So you're lost in the abundance of trees, but if you just keep going, you're going to reach the end of the forest at some point, right? Can't see the forest through the trees. So, Taurus here can't see the forest through the trees. There is a huge, massive transformation and um, there is victory and progress and success right in front of you, but you don't see it. All right, the grand finale, okay, all right. Six of Swords, leave behind all of the mental bullshit that has gotten you here in the first place. Stop believing what this person, these people, this situation, this circumstance told you. Stop. Just stop believing it. They were full of shit. You don't take something and make your whole life about it if the person who gave it to you doesn't even know what the hell they're doing. Stop believing this. Leave it behind. To the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. So you can be prepared. So you can be in a place of temperance. Okay? So you can be in a place of temperance. So you can focus on this alchemy that wants to take place in your life. The Ace of Wands. That's what's needed for the spark for the for the frequency attraction for the spark of you to be in a place to receive what's coming towards you, okay? The lovers, significant, twice it's in this reading. Significant relationship, significant, but you gotta be vibing on the level that will attract this kind of stuff into your life, okay? The star, it is part of your path. It is part of your purpose. It is a renewal for your identity, for who you are. It's, it's the way that you are supposed to be going. It is divinely orchestrated path and purpose in your life. This soulmate is coming to help you, and in turn, you will probably help your soulmate somehow along their journey, their soul journey, not their human journey. Well, you could help them on their human journey. Teach someone how to mesh it together, right? Read my book, The Page of Wands. Um, this is exciting, it's new, it's fresh. Um, it is um, exciting, new, and fresh. That's what I get from that card. The Wheel of Fortune, it's a massive turning point right back to death, right? It's a massive, massive turning point in your life. The Nine of Wands, resilience and, <laughs> resilience and persistence. Keep fighting the good fight. What's the good fight? getting to the root of this rotten bullshit that you're carrying around inside of you, cleaning it out once and for all. Look, to the Empress, keep fighting the good fight. Keep your eye on the prize. Mesh your humanness with your spirituality. That's what the Empress does. That's why she is the badass of the tarot. That's what she does. She's lesson three. She comes from one and two, what's lesson one? The magician. What you think about comes about, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, that's why the magician was in reverse in this spread because it, 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 the good stuff can't manifest if the bad stuff is constantly in the way. They need you to clear the bad stuff out, right? What you think about comes about. The Empress is very careful what she allows herself to focus on. 
lesson two is the high priestess. Here in your reading twice, once in the upright, once in the reverse. Okay, The high priestess, she, the empress knows that this is her ancient soul. So what does she do? She points her mind towards what her soul is leading her to do, and she creates anything and everything that she could possibly hope to have, to, to have the best human experience for her soul that she possibly can. And then the Prince of Wands. Keep doing it. Keep going in that direction. Dig in. Find out. Um, get to the bottom of all of this. Take some inspired action to change the trajectory of your destiny. All starts right here. All starts right here. The devil in reverse. Again, release your limiting beliefs. Detach from this toxic vein that keeps circling in your mind. Four of Swords in reverse. It, it, it keeps you, again, mentally restless, right? It occupies space. Five of Wands. The conflict, the internal conflict that you have because of the number that this person pulled on you um, is occupying all the good space, okay? Four of Wands. Safety, security, stability. The Ace of Swords depends upon your mindset, your mindset. So have the aha moment. Look, Ace of Pentacles. Have the aha moment that if you will till up this soil and get rid of the debris that's all over the ground, you will have something by which to grow new, wonderful, prosperous things in your life. But you can't grow the Ace of Pentacles on old, broken, cracked ground. Till it up. Till it up. Make it good. The moon in reverse. Come to terms. Come to terms. Come to terms. Come to terms. With the grief and the sorrow and the pain. Okay? See things crystal clear and push forward to the hangman. Last card in this spread. Hangman, the second time the hangman's been here too, right? Take a step back and evaluate why it is you're doing things the way that you're doing them. What is it that you are believing about yourself that isn't you? It's not you. You were born a blank slate. It's not you. You were born a blank slate. Whatever this is, consider the source that it came from because this person's fucked up and all they did is spew their their, their fuckery onto you. They had no intentions of healing anything. They just gained their sense of self-worth and their power by tearing you down. Stop being delusional. Stop believing this. This is not your truth. Find your truth. Where's that King of Swords at? Find your truth. And your truth will set you free. Okay? If you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Check out my book, Namaste. Who do you think you are? A step-by-step -step guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial audible version on Gumroad. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you've been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will walk through the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. All of the links are in the box below. Namaste.